this is what ELT SNAP looks like in the same way that you have a single database that collects all your configurations. It has its own framework. What we do is we add this Python runtime. So we skip BIML, we skip SSIS. You don't need a license from Microsoft to run SSIS. Uh, you obviously need to license your databases, uh, but uh, you know, depending on how on your servers are uh, uh, architected, uh, if you have standalone SSIS servers, you can save a lot of money by just using our, our runtime. The runtime will do the same thing as the SSIS runtime in an ELT uh, paradigm. So it'll do data flows, it'll do uh, uh, transfer um, or uh, execute SQLs for your transformation. What we don't have is all the components built into the pipeline, like lookup components, slowly changing dimensions, those types, because all of that is simply SQL done on the server. So if you, if you throw all of those pieces out, just get down to EL, the data flows and the transformation, you're able to, uh, we were able to create a runtime in, in a reasonable uh, number of years. Uh, so you could actually now bypass uh, BIML SSIS uh, in its, its in entirety. So let's see if we can do the same thing. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, uh, we have a different extension for, for this one, a different database uh, for this, but the idea is the same. In this case, uh, what we have is um, a Python notebook. So we're running Python instead of SQL, but you, in uh, your notebooks, you can have a kernel that, that's you know, uh, PowerShell, Python, SQL, et cetera. And Python gives us a little more versatility than just, just SQL because of Python. Uh, in any event, um, uh, if I want to create a project and I didn't know, you know the syntax, et cetera, then I would just type uh, ELT, because it's not BIML, TLT, create. I want to create a project. And there we go. So that snippet pops up. It wants to know the name of the project you want to create. I'll call this demo uh, four. And again, you, you have logging options that you could choose. So I'll go ahead and run that. And so you can see it created it. It doesn't necessarily give you a, a, a GUID you could, or a GUI. You can see graphically what's going on, but we do create an HTML file from this. I can just pick up that HTML file, go down to my terminal uh, window, and I can paste that in. And that now has created an uh, uh, HTML document showing our projects, including demo four that we just created, which there's not, there isn't anything there right now, just a couple of parameters and a, and a connection. All right. Um, so now I, I wanna create connections for it. So in this case, I'm gonna go into our ELT snap uh, extension and let's go, oh, need to first uh, connect to it. So let's go to ELT snap over here. There we go, F1, ELT snap open forms. Okay, so there's, there's demo four. I need a couple of connections. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on connections. Uh, this connection is gonna be for demo four. I don't have the connection uh, defined in uh, ELT snap. So I'll go ahead and say new connection. And I'm gonna call this source. I'll pick that up. This is on SRV6. The database has the same name as the connection that I gave it. Uh, you can put in a secret. And so if you have a custom connect string, you're in Azure, you can use Azure key vault so you don't have uh, uh, plain text uh, passwords. So go ahead and create that. And we'll put in one more. So a new connection. And this is going to be our destination. So this would be SESTL. Save that. This is going to be on a different server. Database is the same name, et cetera. Create that. Okay. Now we have source and destination. The last thing we need to do is create a uh, package. So I'll go to a package. I'm going to add a data flow package. You can see all the different uh, types of patterns that we have. Uh, here I'll call, call the same thing copy. Uh, the uh, source connection is test source, the destination, test destination. Uh, it is the same query I had a minute ago. Of course, you can put any select statement that you like in here, and you can also drive it by uh, parameters um, if you want a, uh, an expression-driven uh, uh, query. 
and it'll be the same destination or same table name on a different server for the uh, destination. Time dimension, I'm going to truncate it before I run, save the package. All right, so now we can actually run it. We have to build BIML, BIML we have to, have to go to, to Visual Studio uh, to run this. I could run just the package or I could run the project. I'll do the, the, the latter. So here's demo four, I'm going to click run. And you can provide, if, you, if it was parameter driven, you could give it the environment. You can change the template, the volume of logging that you're doing. Um, if you click run, then what happens is it goes down to the terminal window and it gives you this command. And what this command says is execute the runtime, tell it the configuration is in this server, this database, use this template and run this project called demo four. So that's all you have to do. It kicks off, it uh, starts the runtime and, and then we're done. So same thing, much, much more uh, streamlined. Um, and it just did that, that copy that, uh, that quickly.